a 16 to 25. Did I get an early review copy? No. You know why? Because they sent it where it belonged. In the trash. Let us talk about the least innovative lens of our time. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Action 4 ultra wide mode engaged. I look like a hipster lesbian. This lens, I gotta tell you, when it was announced, I was like, why are they working on these things? Like, not only does it overlap so many things that already exist, Sigma 16 to 28, Tamron 17 to 28, their own G Master 16 to 35, and then their 60 to 35, 24. It's like, why were you even thinking of this? Like, if it was a 16 or, here's what would blow me away. 15 to 24, 22. I don't know how big that would be because it's not much range. Freaking nine mils. That's not a lot of zoom. Come on. And it's a Tony 2. And it's like, holy shit. That or like a 16 to 30, Tony 2.5, something like that. But it's super expensive for what it is. 1600 Canadian dollars plus tax. You're almost two grand to get like the worst. 3D separation you ever seen in your life. Let me just put this lens into perspective for you. The 16 to 35 in general, that style of lens is almost useless. Like for vloggers and YouTubers, you're hand holding at 16 and that's cool. And then if you zoom out 35, it's almost nothing at that point. You might as well go for the Sony 20 mil 1.8 every time. Almost zero use in that zoom. They shrunk it down to nine mil zoom. Imagine that on the long end, a 590 to 600. That's how, 591, shut up. I can count, I'll count your moms. I didn't say breasts, I would never. So like such a tiny zoom range, at that point, like just use a prime, it's much better. You could pick between the Zeiss Battis 18 mil 2.8 or the 25 mil Tony 2. Either choice, absolutely superior to anything this lens is gonna do. They're both lighter, don't quote me on that. The Battis for sure, they're both Battises. The 18 mil for sure. The 3D pop is there. Did you look through the DP review sample gallery? It was like I was in a 2D world wondering if like spheres existed, not even knowing how to calculate such a thing. Just circles and lines over there. This is the first lens release where I was like, you know what? I saw all the douche tubers line up with the early day release and I was like, I can't bring myself to even click on any of them. I don't even wanna know what the final result is. It's, I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be sharp. Wow, freaking corner to corner, pretty good. Wow, this is almost a G Master quality sharpness. Pretty fast autofocus, wow, it's kind of light. Not really, it's heavy, it's 400. That's heavier than the 20 mil prime and it will look much worse. For this ultimate zoom range, you're kidding yourself. I can guarantee you only one thing out of all the 25 reviews released this morning, yesterday morning, not one mentioned micro contrast, 3D pop, lens fidelity, how many elements, 16 freaking elements. Several of them are designed just to take you out of the third dimension. How many of them took pictures of a test chart and then zoomed in on it 400% to see the sharpness at each toniature? It's painful. Just take pictures out in the world. I bet you some did it, but it's the worst lens of our time. Is Sony seriously trying to say that this will pair nicely with their other 24 to 50 useless lens? You're gonna have like 15 lenses in your bag just to get up to 100 mil. Like, what are you doing? There's a trinity for photographers. I don't know, and Sony's turning that into a quadrupoly. Can you imagine needing like seven lenses to get you from 16 to 200? That's the future of Sony for some reason. And it's cheaper to get both of those Battises I recommended in the beginning, 18 mil and 25, if you buy them used cheaper and they're not lighter if you add them both at the same time but 
it's hardly a different look, man. It's just ultra wide to pretty darn wide. There's not much of a difference. If you are actually debating this lens, may I highly suggest you just get one prime. If you're at 24 mil, how the hell are you not using the 1.4 G Master lens at that point? Obviously I chose the baddest because it's superior in every way, but like, come on. And if you're thinking of getting the 16 to 25 plus the 24 to 50, why is there a one mil overlap? By the way, that annoys me. Just get the 25 mil Battis and then the Zeiss 55 mil 1.8. And you have two lenses that are cheaper, lighter, faster, stronger, smell better, 3D pop out the yin yang, micro contrast. Someone will actually look at your lens and be inspired to start a photography life. It's not even a thing, you can't start that. What you can start is your scooter to get to a better neighborhood. Ah, you gotta turn it on first. Oh, why do I never remember that? Oh, hi boy, that's your only flaw. Uh, it's gotta be on. It's ultra wide. Is she in the shop? Oh, man. You're a ritualistic intimate in need of assistance, but keeping its distance. You could use some practice while you acting like a baby. It's not like it'll be a terrible lens. I could have fun with it for YouTube in the studio, this mega wide, and then you zoom to a focal length that I really do like as well, 24. So it's like, I could have fun zooming and squeezing, but it's like, come on. The camera industry moves so slowly and it's so annoying. We get new announcements like every 20 years, it feels like nothing's coming. And then what comes is like, you spent all that time doing that. It's like, you're waiting for a painting. It's like, okay, just, paint a dog or something near a sunset and then they're working and there's just there's no dog there's no sun it's just like a bakery or something is completely different than what you asked for and you wonder why imagine hey sir where's the bank oh it's right down this way okay thank you sir and you're walking for hours and it's like ah shit it was the other way the exact opposite way that you went that's what the camera industry is. It's just moving Blackmagic 17K. Are you joking? 17K. Why is nobody just perfecting 4K? Why is nobody perfecting HD? I would still buy a camera if it only did HD, but it was super special. My Blackmagic OG only does HD. It looks like 4K. It looks super sharp, way too sharp. Amazing. Like if someone actually did that, it would sell. It would sell pretty, not, not like hotcakes, but it would sell like a, a Snickers bar or something. My guess is that this is just another one of Sony's miserable attempts at catering to creators, whatever those are supposed to be. And like, oh, mega wide, but it's, it's light and, but it's not light or cheap. You're not, they can't even afford it. And if they could, they should get something much better, like a prime. So thank you so much, Sony. I can't. There must have been thousands of people asking for something like a 16 to 24. If only they could make it slightly lighter than the G Master and maybe half the cost of an overpriced lens. Wow. I ain't in to your thing. I don't even update your cameras when you announce firmwares because they make them worse. So many problems I've heard. The Bluetooth doesn't work. Oh my God, my HDMI, that freaking Seven Artisans autofocusing adapter to EF lenses, I've heard a guy say like, oh shit, it doesn't work anymore. Do you know if they're, no, they're not coming with any fix. You're stuck with it. So just never update anything, Sony. Sell it all while you can, and you might make half your money back. Affiliate links will of course be available to those who don't think their life decisions through properly. They don't read books. They don't understand the consequences of making really bad choices over and over again, but they're down there for you and enjoy clicking them. I would. So, what do you think? Just like, what is the point of that lens? Who's gonna buy it? There's probably people out there, game changer, bro. I pre-ordered two of them, just in case one snaps. I'll snap the lens hood onto your mom. I'll leave. How you doing? Subscribing for more videos? Yeah.